Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. The recipe we are about to make is a nutritious all-time classic dish Greek spinach and rice panacorizo. Tender spinach wilted and cooked along with rice and aromatic herbs for a complete meal to enjoy all year round. Prepare this yumminess in half an hour. So let's begin. First of all, if I ask you for a Greek recipe, probably you will say moussaka, baklava, and spanakorizo because everybody knows spanakorizo. Spanakorizo is a Greek version of risotto with lemon and spinach. I love this recipe. This is a very unique, easy, and nutritious recipe that you have to learn how to cook. So it's so simple. We need some herbs, we need scallions and of course some dill to make this recipe. I will take the stalks of the scallions and the dill here. I will roughly chop them, big pieces, you don't have to finely chop them as you can see. And I will keep the fresh part of the scallions and the dill on the side because I need them to the very end. Now, I have a pot here on, on heat and I will add some extra virgin Greek olive oil and I want to add a good amount of olive oil. As you can see, there are about four tablespoons of olive oil inside. So I will add my scallions in my dill. And I will start sauteing all these lovely herbs, along with some onion. Chop, chop the onion. I love this recipe because it starts to smell so nice. I can smell all these lovely flavors of this dish. I love it, it's very comfort for me, it's very unique for every Greek and you have to learn it, you have to cook it, you have to taste it. Now, my onion is here, my garlic is here also, nice, and both goes in along with the scallions and the dill. Scallions or um, spring onions like this? Garlic. Why? Because I like the word. So, Onion, garlic, dill and scallions inside the pot with the extra virgin Greek olive oil and I will add some salt and some pepper. As you can see, I transform my pronunciation and I'm speaking a little bit uh, British. So the pepper is in and it's time to add the rice. To make a perfect spanakorizo you need the thick and uh, small rice, not the long and the thing because this is more gluey and we want to be gluey, to be, we want to be kind of risotto. So you can use any type of rice you want for risotto. Arborio, carnaroli, vialoli nano, whatever you want. It's good for this recipe. And I will saute a little bit my rice here because I want to sear the rice and don't break through the cooking. It's very important to saute the rice to keep it al dente, crispy while it's cooking. And now the procedure is very easy and probably everybody knows the procedure of making risotto, but I will repeat the procedure. The first thing we have to do is to deglaze the pan with some white wine. We want to hear this lovely sound. That means that the alcohol is evaporating and when it's completely evaporated, it's time to add gradually the stock. We have to do it slowly because actually there is no recipe that giving the exactly amount of the stock. It depends from how big is the pot and how hot is your heat. So we're adding gradually the stock to make sure that the rice is cooked properly. The first batch is in just a little bit about 60 to 70 ml of chicken stock and I will carry on stirring until all the stock is completely absorbed from the rice and evaporated the rest. I will carry on this procedure for about 12 to 15 minutes, it depends from the rice. And when my rice is almost ready, I will carry on the recipe by adding the spinach and the rest of the herbs. My rice is almost ready, I want to try some. You have to check before you add the spinach. You have to understand that the rice should be tender, but a little bit al dente. Uh, we don't want to overcook the rice, but we don't want to keep it very crispy because the recipe asks for uh, to be uh, tender and soft. Now, I will add a little bit stock. 
And now it's time for the spinach. Now, we have two options for the spinach. The first option is to add a little bit of salt and squeeze the spinach so we'll take out all its juices and uh, this way we will not have a green risotto. And the second option is to add the spinach as it is inside the rice. I will add the spinach slowly inside my rice. As you can see, it's a big amount of spinach and we want big amount of spinach. And when the first batch is completely wilted, I will add the second one. And I will carry on the same procedure. As you can see, all this amount of spinach is in there. So actually when you're making spinach rice, it's not risotto with spinach, it's spinach with rice. That's why we call it spanakorizo. Spanakorizo is spinach, spanaki in Greek, and rice, rizi in Greek is, uh, is the rice. So this is spanakorizo. We have to add a little bit of flavor to the very end. I have some lemons here. It has to be lemony and it has to be herby. So, for this amount of spinach rice, I will add at least the juice of two lemons. One, two, oh my God, lovely, lovely, amazing. And you understand that it's very nutritious. And I will add the zest of two lemons also inside. If you want to add lime instead of lemon, you can, but the traditional recipe has lemons. Uh, so the lemon is in, I kept my spring onions and my dill here. I will chop, chop for the very end. I will drop it in. I will close my heat, stir a little bit. And at this point, I have to try the seasoning. Really, it's so mouth-watering for me because this is a very traditional Greek recipe. I love this recipe. It's very easy to make. And let's try some to see if it needs more salt and pepper. Hot, 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 hot. Mm. I am professional. It's uh, the best panna chorizo you ever tried and probably I ever tried too because it's so fresh. I didn't overcook the spinach so you can feel all the spinach flavor and uh, the rice is just the carbs we need inside this recipe. Because you have carbs, you have protein. The only thing that's missing is fresh olive oil to the very end. And don't be stingy, add a little bit of olive oil. And when I'm saying add a little bit, I mean at least 50 grams of olive oil. Because it's very healthy, it's very Mediterranean. And it's time to serve. I love this recipe. And everybody should love this recipe because actually you just need a pot good amount of spinach and of course some rice and that's it. You have a lovely food here with few ingredients, lots of nutrients and huge amount of deliciousness. Oh my god. A little bit more extra virgin Greek olive oil, some pepper and some lime always looks better. And this is it. You can serve this lovely dish with some feta cheese and some bread, and it's a complete meal. If you want to try some of this recipe, you have to subscribe to my channel at YouTube, my friend Michalis. Okay, I'm Subscriber? Of course. You have to subscribe again, okay? okay? Uh, are you following us at uh, social media? Okay, are you? Okay, uh, you have to be a complete subscriber to my social uh, media. 24-7. 24-7, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Please, my friend Lucky, share this recipe to the Greek community and all other people of all over the world. Okay, Lucky? So one left from each other, right? Okay, yes, of course. And see you next time. Bye-bye, yes. Bye-bye, yes.